Ian, congratulations, all three points and uh, probably high blood pressure as well, right? Uh, yeah, yeah <laughs> way too high. You know, I think uh, Nick asked me before in, a, in an interview if I like uh, one nils or four threes. And I said I like one nils, but looks like we're going after four threes <laughs> at the moment. So it's not great for the blood pressure. What pleased you about the game? What didn't please you about it? I thought, to be honest, I thought we had good control. First half an hour, uh, I thought we came out well. We created a couple of chances. I was really disappointed with the goals. We knew that their strength was set pieces. We knew they're one of the best set piece teams in the league. Um, and they scored two. You know, it was a long throw that, that got the penalty and then it was the, the free kick. So I was disappointed really in, in the nature of the goals that we conceded. But I think at half time we felt like we could still change it and that we could uh, get beyond them and create chances. And I thought that the better created chances were all ours. Any complaints about the penalty? No, I, I didn't see it to be honest. But I asked the players and they were quite honest and they felt that it was. So uh, it was just a little bit caught on the wrong side and an arm round. So I didn't complain about that. Um, but, you know, we, we bounced back from that well. Were you kind of scratching your head a little bit then, given the composure that you had for the first sort of half an hour of the game when you were at half-time 2-1 down, thinking where did that come from? Yeah, a little bit, but that can happen. And we've got to appreciate that if we don't maintain that momentum and we don't keep that control, then it can, we can get picked off. And, you know, sometimes when you have good control, uh, you lose the focus on things like set pieces and that's what happens. So we've got to be really, you know, we've got to use set pieces as a trigger to like wake ourselves up so that we don't concede on, on unnecessary things. I overheard someone in the press box say that they felt like the, the knots goals conceded by Woking were, were all four soft goals conceded. But I guess you could say the same about the two goals that you've conceded. They're soft, aren't they? Anytime you I, don't think, I don't think our goals that we score are, are soft goals. I think we create goals. I think we play. You know, we, we're using switches of play. We're playing through Reevesy in the middle. We're breaking lines. Um, they're intended passes, you know. The, the chances they created were generally set pieces and it's quite random, you know, if the ball drops to someone in the box, they got a shot off, but ours were created chances and we, we created a lot more. I mean, Lewis Knight could have had a couple as well. I mentioned them, obviously, for Jimmy Knowles, who's, we think yeah. that's his first senior hat-trick. You must be thrilled for him. Yeah, and the boys are in the dressing room, but it wasn't only his hat-trick, you know, if... Of course, the, the finishes are fantastic, but you know what? With five minutes to go, he's done a 50-metre sprint down the touchline and won a tackle down there and took the ball up the other end. That sort of character, you can't... That's unbelievable. So I thought it was an outstanding performance from him and he's you know, a young lad. What do you think of the added mobility that you've got on offer then when you've got him and Knight up top? Yeah, brilliant. You know, uh, Nolsey works hard and he, he stretches the play all the time and Lewis Knight, we knew, you know... Yeah, I thought he had a good impact when he came on the other day and, and you know, he's getting closer and closer to be able to play more and more minutes at, at this intensity. But you know, he came in and really affected the game and, and you know, to have that pace up front was, was great. We know that goals haven't come freely for Notts County all season, but what does it tell you about the group that you can score four when yeah. you don't have Kyle Wharton in the team? Yeah, fantastic. And, and I think it's worth saying that Woking have the best defensive record in the bottom half of the table. So, you know, it's not an easy place to come and score goals. So to get four and create a lot of other big chances, I think is a real positive for us. Mark Ellis gets another one. He's a, he's a striker machine, masquerade, yeah, he's a masquerading yeah. as a defender, isn't he? what a finish as well, by the uh -huh. way, on the volley. Um, but yeah, you know, we've, we've worked a bit on our uh, attacking set pieces and, you know, we, we got that on a second wave and he stayed up there and, and yeah, he's in the right place again. Um, you obviously didn't have Carl Roberts in the match day 16 today because mm. mild reaction, what does that mean? Yeah, I think he just you know felt a little bit tight after the, the game and, and then we decided that this one came around so fast with only two days recovery, um, it's better to err on the side of caution with how he's been the last uh, few months. So you know, we, there's no point in rushing him today and then having a setback for longer. So we hope that he can progress through the week and be ready for Hartlepool. Because that's the fear that I think every Knotts fan has sort of gone, oh goodness, the last time he played 20 minutes and had a reaction was Stockport and they didn't see him again for six weeks. No. That's not the case this time. No, I hope not. I mean, we don't want that. Uh, we want all of our, our strongest players available. And But, you know, Kyle's away. Uh, Kyle's away today. We score four goals and get a strong win. So it shows the strength of the squad. Gives you some headaches, doesn't it? When I, he like comes back. I like those headaches. <laughs> They're good to have. Um, we were also looking at, um, you know, you've had game after game, two days off game, two days off. You actually now get a whole four days. I know, incredible. What do you do with it? You get to well, do we, some coaching, right? Yeah, we get to coach. Yeah, <laughs> we get to coach and prepare the team. And that's nice because a lot of it has been, I mean, we've worked hard. You know, we've still taken the players out two days after the game and we've done a lot of tactical work out on the pitch. So we've been able to do things, but of course we want to do them more and, and with a higher intensity so hopefully we get some sessions in this week. A couple of players went back um, from loan spells, is that so that you've got a little bit of freedom to manoeuvre and, and, and maybe look at bringing anybody in if something presents itself? Not again, uh, unless something happens to the current squad I don't think that's what we're going to look to do but um, yeah I mean I also wanted, you know, Kenton's loan expired and we sent any back, um, I felt like 
you know everybody to have a, a tighter group really in, in tight competitions maybe better for the the environment than to have too many and, and too many maybe not near enough and that motivation can be hard so I felt like I want the, the players all to feel like they're close and that they're, they're hungry and ready to step in at any time. I was going to say just by sending say Inny back and, and cutting that that loan shorter does that kind of keep everybody on their toes a little bit as well I as hope to so. say you've got to be involved absolutely yeah okay mm. so looking ahead then Hartley Pool at the weekend fourth in the league as it is but Stockport still to play yeah how do you assess your first couple of weeks which has been a whirlwind in charge of it that? has been a whirlwind it's been uh, you know obviously a disappointing start but certainly the last couple of games have been I think we've been excellent so you know we're seeing progress and we just want to maintain that really there's a lot of games and it, there'll be some tough games as well but you know I think we have the the group now in a in a good place we talked a little bit about confidence a, a week or so and I think the boys have put that to bed and, and feel like they can go on and kick on from here.